Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. I have a little Dollar Tree haul to share with you guys today. Um, if you've noticed that there's a new background here, it's because I just put it up. And if my face is a little red, it's because I just spent like an hour slaving away over it and putting it up. So, I have a few ironing things to do still, but... I hope you guys enjoy it and that it helps kind of keep the background a little less distracting and maybe just prettier, I guess. So there's that. So let's get started here. I went to a couple different Dollar Trees. I went to a new one today just because I was in the area and I was getting kind of sick of um, the Dollar Tree by my house and what they had there. So I just needed to pick up one of these cardboard trifold, you know, project display boards. So I think this is a good deal for a dollar. I did go to Walmart today and saw that the ones that they had there went up to like three or four dollars depending on the size. Um, and this size, I did measure it. It doesn't say on here, but it's about 27 by 36 inches, like when it's opened up, I believe. So pretty good size, pretty comparable to the ones that they have at Walmart and for like a third of the price. So I just needed one of those as well as I did get some of this white wrapping paper, just plain white. It's a pretty thin paper um, and I used most of it for the background behind me here, but they had it out with the Christmas stuff. I think they had like a plain red one as well if you need that. there's just a few things that I was looking for for a specific project that I'm working on and this isn't exactly what I was looking for or what I had in mind but I did find these 11 by 14 frames so they're a really good size and it has the hanging pieces on the back here so you can do it either way um, I just got it for the big size for a DIY project. This is the largest picture frame I could find there, so I got two of them. Alright, next, I know I mentioned this in another video that I got that Crayola clay, um, one ounce for a dollar. Then I found, of course, at this other Dollar Tree, the modeling clay. You get 12 assorted colors. And this is seven total ounces in here for a dollar. So like I said, much better deal, especially if you don't care like what color or anything that you have in there. So I found that. And then I did get a couple of these navy blue, what are they, collapsible storage containers. Um, so I think I would use it for this um, storage cube that I have back here. So they are a little bit smaller because they're like 8 by 9 inches, but I'm going to try them back here and see if, if they fit everything that I need them to fit in there. So they're just both navy blue. Then, so I went to Dollar Tree just keeping this in mind that I had a couple DIYs um, to do. So I just got these table covers, thinking that maybe I could switch out the material that I got on here after I ironed that one out. Maybe I can, you know, change it out for the different seasons or something, or I can just do, just use these for tablecloths. Too. All right. Next, I did find this floral wire. They had a bunch of different colors. That I almost got like a red and a gold, um, but I ended up just getting the silver and the black. And I really enjoy these for wreath making. Like I said, I'm trying to get into that a lot more this year. I have a lot of the supplies for it already. Um, so I just needed a couple of colors of that. And I think it helps for wreath making if you care. So instead of just hot glue, the wire holds stuff on there really well. Alright, and then at the other Dollar Tree, I picked up these at 
right near the checkout, kind of an impulse purchase. I'll probably give them to someone for Christmas. I just thought the raccoon in color were cute. Alright, and then I got more of these beauty blenders that I showed you the other day. So I got almost all the colors and I got them for Christmas presents because I like them so much that I got four total. So I got another one of these green ones, the mint green. Um, there was a pink. This is kind of like a violet, like dark bluish shade. And then the yellow. They also had like a light purple ish one. So I got those four. Like I said, for Christmas presents. Or I don't know, maybe I'll keep one as a backup for myself when mine is wearing out a bit. And then I also got, so I had the rose one of this, but now I got the cucumber um, hydrating face mist. So again, I might try this for myself or I might keep it for Christmas presents. So we'll see. I'm not going to open that one right now. And then, so they had these Kiss Gel Nail Polishes out. And that I found this green color. I'm not sure if I have a shade like this, but I just thought it was a really gorgeous color for the holidays. Um, I'm looking for a color and these don't really have colors on these Kiss Gel nail polishes. So it's just like a dark green. Like an emerald green kinda. So yeah, gorgeous color for Christmas and all the holidays. I just have a few more things here. It's kind of a smaller haul. So I did get the Werther's Original Caramel Apple candies. Just for fall and to have around the house. I don't know. They sounded good at the time. I don't even know if I like those or not. But So the last thing that I'm really excited to show you guys, so I saved it for last, is these Christmas ornaments. So I feel like Dollar Tree is kind of in between a lot of like Halloween and Christmas right now. So the stores are just starting to get out some of the Christmas items. Um, but I did see these ornaments that I thought I had to pick them up before they're gone. So I got just these red all glitter ones. So it's a 16 pack. And then I got these silver assorted, um, they're all silver but they're assorted textures and like patterns. So that's the silver. And then I got two of these navy blue ones. Let's pull it right side up which I've never seen at the Dollar Tree before, like anything like a blue collection like this. So I hope they come out with more ornaments like this because I'd love to add more like blue into my Christmas tree. I like that color scheme. And these are again the assorted like textures and patterns. Yes, and um, in addition to adding these to my tree, I think these little ornaments are really good for wreath making as well. So I'm going to add that into my wreath for this year. And that is it. So that is really all the Christmas I picked up. Um, like I said, I just had a lot of DIYs that I needed to go to the store for. Um, I hope you guys like the background. Let me know if you want, if you have any requests, if you want me to change up the uh, fabric at all for the holidays. So I thought that could be fun. Um, Besides that, like I said, I hope you all are doing well. If you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!